to my channel so today I have an accessory reveal to you and I just wanted to share it with you because I want to convey to you that you can definitely own pieces that you love by buying them from places that you can definitely get a bargain for and my youtube channel is here to basically share my love for fashion and here but i want you to keep in mind that you don't have to jump on a bandwagon or whenever there are items on YouTube that are hyped up you don't necessarily have to jump on the bandwagon immediately to get these and thinking that oh my god I need them right now I need what she's wearing I, I need what she has I need her closet no my channel is basically to encourage you to often look into your wardrobe see what you have reuse them time and time again but at the same time, in order for you to have them looking fresh or extra or new again, you can add an accessory piece to them just to upgrade them a, a little and to give them a fresh look. And it would definitely encourage you to wear these items and to start loving them again. This is what I do because I am somebody, I am very financially, I am fiscally restrictive in a sense where I buy items that are on sale um, in consignment stores and second hand luxury online stores. That's where I get most of my items. I am always this savvy shopper and I've always been. So I just want to encourage you to keep that in mind whenever I share my fashion tips. And especially for the working woman, you don't have to go out there and spend a fortune on workwear and um, even your casual pieces. You can definitely look into your wardrobe, see what you have. And while I know many YouTubers do a lot of reselling um, and whatever, I just think that that's something you don't necessarily have to do. I think you could buy pieces that you absolutely love and continue to reuse them from years to come. And this may not apply to some trends, but trust me, I have had trends in my wardrobe for so long that they keep on coming back and I find my ways of just dressing them up and making them look pretty by incorporating accessories whether it's a necklace or a belt so yeah so I use these just to spice up my wardrobe so with that in mind I am a belt lover I just love belt. If it's the only accessory I can have um, on, in my wardrobe, that's what I go for. I love belts. The, the more unique they are, I just love them. I think belts are good. Um, belts are really good accessories to just, to just spice up your look. So I went shopping. Ouch. I went on Vestier Collective just to look and browse around and I was browsing around for the Gucci um, belt as well but it sells out so quickly I never get the chance to get it. Eventually when I did the seller never sent it. So that's another story I will tell you about my experience with Vestier Collective probably in another video. But yeah, I went on and I purchased this item and here it is. That's not it. <laughs> it came in this bag. 
So as you can see, it's a Dolce and Gabbana belt. And when I saw this item online, I absolutely love it. So, and of course, there it is, guys. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It has this huge buckle and this is the verification that it was authenticated by Vestier Collective and that definitely is um, proof that it is a genuine Dolce and Gabbana belt. When I saw this online, I absolutely fell in love with it. And it was positioned in such a way that, yeah, to be honest, when I received this belt, I was absolutely stunned by how huge it is. And if you can recall, I did mention that I wanted the Gucci belt to be at least 2.5 inches wide. That would be my ideal. This one is about 3 point something. And I know it was stated on the side, but I really didn't expect it to be this wide. It is humongous. And... It is absolutely a statement piece. Well, an exclamation piece. Trust me, this exclaims to the world that yes, this is me, I'm here, I have arrived. Yes, it's definitely runaway type of um, item. And I love it for that. But it could be a bit impractical and that's something I'll give a review about it when I wear it. I do intend to wear it to my country's gala. So I'll definitely give you an update of how it wears, how I feel about it, whether it's comfort level and so forth. So right now I am a bit surprised by its size, but I also like the way it looks. It has this gorgeous animal print detail inside but as you can see this is huge and i am all for detail i just love the buckle holes i think they are unique and they are great as a first trial this is what it looks like on And yeah, it's definitely a statement piece, guys. And it has to be paired very carefully. It is indeed something that whenever you're wearing it, everybody knows that, yeah, you have definitely arrived at the party and the event and you're gonna just own this you have to definitely wear this belt with confidence i i i don't mind it it could actually pair nicely with a lot of stuff and i'll definitely sh give you a mini lookbook of how i pair it the pieces it can pair well with the advantages and the disadvantages of owning a huge belt like this and how much wear you can get from it Definitely not gonna pass the test for my workwear. I didn't buy it for that. This is a going out piece. It's a gala event type of piece. It, those are the kinds of places I intend to wear this belt. So yeah, for now this is what it looks like. It doesn't suit it right now, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like right now. I'm not removing this just yet because I am not 100% sure that 
I'm gonna keep it but I do like the way it looks it's definitely a statement piece and, <laughs> it, and I just love it, it wow not a statement it's an exclamation point blank yes I've arrived yes I'm here yes this is me Dolce and Gabbana <laughs> so anyway guys I just wanted to share the unboxing with you because um, it is a good piece um, I am not sure if it's a hundred percent leather to be honest I have to confirm that it is definitely advertised as patent leather indication that it's real and of course it's Dolce & Gabbana I'm thinking it should be real my first impression when I opened it it doesn't smell of leather but of course the scent goes away it doesn't necessarily feel like leather and so I don't know and I definitely need to confirm this and I'll definitely come back with a review of how I feel about it and whether or not it's real leather so that is one of my concerns but first impression I I like it so far I don't mind it I mean I can rock this um, with a really good outfit but you just have to be careful about what you rock it with and as a second-hand pre-love store vestia collective I had no issues whatsoever shopping there except for one particular item the Gucci item and um, I never received that item and it took me forever to to get my money back and I didn't like that but I'll just share with you my total experience at some other time with Vestia Collective but so far so good I like this piece I love belts and I definitely hope I enjoy this piece it wasn't priced too badly actually I saw the exact belt on Vestia not too long ago for over 200 almost 300 Canadian dollars and I got this piece for $147 so that for me is a bargain so I love that so as I said before in my Gucci review and I use that word lightly whenever you're looking for pieces definitely pay attention to the sellers their ranking you can feel confident in shopping on Vestia Collective because they do authenticate the items so that's one thing I am happy about and you can find luxury items especially belts at really really great prices and my love for belt has increased just by going on Vestia Collective and looking at the wide selection that they have there so yeah I love it so yes for sure I can recommend Vestia because my experience with this particular item was not too bad at all so definitely some place that for those guys out there who like to treat their women and for those ladies out there who are looking for a piece of luxury if you do like belts definitely go they have handbags they have clothes but I am into belts so and for me that's what makes most of my outfits so yeah I love it but well, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this unboxing it yeah definitely check it out and um, let me know if you do like 